The Bible says that the Lord hates hands that shed blood. They shed the blood of the innocent. This place is a place of death and destruction. Evil lurks within. If you are in there to kill your child today, please turn and run from this wicked and evil place. There is hope if you will turn and repent of your sin and put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ who took on human flesh, left the glories of heaven to become a man, and He lived a life that we could never live. He entered into this earth as a single cell blastocyst in the womb of a virgin. And He did that so that sinners might know Him, so that sinners might be reconciled to Christ, reconciled to God, and have life everlasting. But the sin of murder, if you commit murder, the Bible says that you will not inherit the kingdom of God. We are all sinners. I have sinned. This man I'm standing next to has sinned. All mankind has fallen short of the glory of God. And therefore we deserve His righteous and holy wrath. Because God is a just God. He is a holy God. And He will not let sin go unpunished. But He's also a gracious and merciful and loving God. And He says that if you will repent, if you will turn away from your sin, and if you will submit yourself to Jesus Christ as Lord, He will become your Savior. And He will show you mercy and grace, which is undeserved. He will forgive you of your sin, even the sin of murder, just like He did the Apostle Paul who persecuted Christians and dragged them off to prison and murdered them in innocence. He will also forgive you if you turn away from this wicked practice. If you run from this clinic and flee and save the life of your child. We will help you. We will give you help. We will help you find somebody to adopt your child. I will help you financially. We will do whatever it takes to help you be a good mother or a good father or find a good mother and a good father to place your child in their home. But know this, this is not a clump of cells that you're destroying. This is not a part of your body. You don't have four arms and four legs and two brains and four eyes. There's a living human child in your womb. That child is made in the image of our God. That child is precious and valuable in the sight of God. And this child is a gift from God. Please don't destroy this gift. Don't spurn the grace of God. Turn and love this child. This child deserves your love. God has created women to love and nurture children. He's given you the unique gift of being able to grow a child within your womb. The womb should be the safest place on earth for your child to be and to grow and to gain strength and to be nurtured and loved and cared for. Don't turn it into the most dangerous place on earth. Your child will be destroyed, ripped limb from limb, poisoned with chemicals when it should be loved and cared for. Please turn and reconsider. Show your child mercy just as God showed us mercy by sending Jesus Christ to die in our place.